Did you know that Moses literally showed Jesus, an example of Jesus in the Old Testament, almost 3,000 years before Jesus' time? Like, this is crazy stuff, but yet it's literally right here in scripture. And the reason why I'm bringing you guys back to this subject is because the Old Testament is not something that you put away in your bookshelf just... I'm not reading you because you're old. No, the Old Testament has fresh revelations of Christ for us to read daily. So I want to open up with you guys to Numbers chapter 21, verse 4. Then they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to, to go around the land of Eden. And the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way. And the people spoke up against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us out of the Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water. Our soul loathes this worthless bread. So the Lord said, sent fiery serpents among the people and they bit people and many of the people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he may take away the serpents from us. So that Moses, so then Moses prayed for the people. But the Lord, then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. And it shall be that everyone who looks, who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. And so it was, if the serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the brown serpent, he lived. Now, I know that this is just a story about some snakes that were biting Israel because Israel was a people literally with dull heads. Uh, not in the bad connotation, but no matter what God did to them, a few days later or a few months later, they would still be going against what God is saying. And I do not understand how they could be doing this, but this is the story. Now, this is a true representation of Christ because first of all something that was biting people was hung into a tree and anytime that they looked upon the tree they saw it and then they received the salvation from the bite that they had the snakes were killing them off and I want to really really pull you guys into the story of Jesus here sin was killing off the nations of the world Jesus Christ saw that that sin was killing them off what he did was he came off the throne of heaven came down to this earth, lived a perfect and blameless life, never sinned once, was placed onto a tree. You see the representation? The snake was placed into a tree, Jesus was placed into a tree. He was placed onto a tree. And he, what happened? He took the whole sin of the whole entire world. He became the sacrifice for all of the people's sin. Yes, he took all the sin, he put it onto himself. All of a sudden that thing that used to curse humanity, which is sin, which is unrighteousness, all of a sudden that went on him. The Bible says that God could not even look at him because of the sin that was on him. So he turned away from him. And Jesus says, why have you turned away from me? Why have you forsaken me? See, this is the beautiful thing about the Bible is that the front to the back speaks about Jesus. Now I want to tell you guys something. The same thing as the serpents that bite you, sin has been biting us even unto this day. But there's pureness of that something that happened 2,000 years ago still has effect today. When we look unto the cross of Calvary, as the Israelites had to look unto a tree, whenever we look upon Jesus hanging on the cross of Calvary, that he died for the redemption of our sin, all of a sudden, the sin, the bite, the consequence of the bite of sin, which is death, falls off of us and we are saved. But the, between the salvation and, it fall, and, the, and the sin falling off, there has to be something called repentance. You see, the Israelites came to Moses and he, they said, we have sinned. Taking up the ownership and saying, hey, I have sinned. Moses then made up the bronze serpent and according to God's word, makes the serpent, places it according to how God said to place it. And all of a sudden, anytime that they look upon the serpent, they're saved. Correlation? I don't think so. The Bible speaks of Jesus in the Old Testament for us to see different aspects of his majesty. Yes, you see the serpents were biting the Israelites as sin is biting us right now. And we have one thing to do. We have to look to Jesus Christ, our salvation, our redemption. He died for our sins. And he said three words before he died. He said, it is Finish. What is finished, you might ask? The penalty of your sin 
is done when you look upon Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and you repent from your sins everything gets washed off of you see the Israelites the funny thing is is that whenever Moses hung up that statue of the serpent or that uh, serpent on the onto the pole whenever he did that sin didn't just leave them miraculously the serpents didn't just leave no they were still there and they were still biting just like sin is still here and it still bites some of us. Some of you are even struggling with sin right now. You might be thinking to yourself, Vasily, I've committed so many different things. You don't understand. God doesn't even want to have a relationship with me. I'm telling you, my friend, that's a lie from the devil. God wants to have a relationship with you. He loves you. He cares for you. Yes, he cares for you because he knows you by your name. You are his child. But all you must do is you must repent from your sin. That bite of sin hurts. I know it, I felt it, but what we can do whenever that bite comes and bites us, we can look up to Jesus. And the moment we look upon Jesus, the penalty of that bite falls off. We are saved. See, it says right here in, in uh, Numbers chapter 21, it says again, if a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Maybe you're struggling with sin. You can live. You can have all the condemnation fall off of you have all that shame fall off of you have all that guilt have the penalty of your sin which is death fall off of you and be alive in christ if you look upon jesus the author and the finisher of your faith maybe you're wondering how might i do that you can do this right now by saying this with me say jesus i need you forgive me for my sin make me new make me whole Make me perfect as you are perfect. I believe that you are the Son of God, that you died and you rose on the third day. From this moment on, I am saved. There we go, my friends. Doesn't that feel good to have all that weight just fall off of you? That's the representation of, of Jesus in the Old Testament. I was so excited to share this with you. I had to make this video. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys press the like and subscribe button right now and we'll be able to have more of these coming out to you daily. Be blessed.